Hi everyone! So years ago I started this channel and I was going to create how-to videos and then I did one and never did any more. So I thought since we're all quarantined this might be a good time to resurface it. So I get asked a lot about my nails and no I don't get my nails done every week. I paint my own nails. Um, but I paint them only once a week and people always ask how I get my nail polish to stay. So I thought I would do a tutorial. So first things first, you have to have good nail polish. My top two favorite nail polishes are either Essie or OPI. These are the only two I use and clearly you can see I have an affinity for Essie nail polish. But the most important thing, two things, but one is the bonder. So this is what I've been using for the last 10 years, Orly Bonder. This is super important to put first on your nail before anything else. And then for a top coat, I have two things I like, either the Orly Top Coat Polish Shield, or I would recommend using the Essie top coat, which I don't have right now, in the twisted bottle because it's a gel top coat and you don't need a light to use it. That's the other one that works really well. So the first thing I recommend doing is when you have a clear nail, get one of these. These are awesome and they're super cheap. They're like one dollar and it even tells you it has step by step. One even out. So I would do this on every single nail just for a few seconds. Then side two, smooth nail. Same thing on every single nail for just a few seconds. Side three, buff nail, just a few seconds. And side four, shine nail. And honestly, I do this every week after I take off my nail polish and my nails are always shiny. So if I, if I weren't to wear any nail polish, they'd be really shiny because I do that. So then as soon as I finish taking off my polish and doing this, I also, obviously file my nails and that's up to you how you want to do that. I'm not going to get into that. So base coat, most important, get this Orly Bonder and then just one coat of that. I just wait like maybe a minute. It doesn't really need to dry completely because what it does is it allows the polish to stick to your nail. And then I would do, this is what I'm wearing right now, Essie Into the Abliss. Um, I do two coats, so I do one, one coat on one hand, and then I let it dry, and then I do the second coat. And then I do either the Orly top coat or the Essie top coat in the twisted bottle because it's that gel-like um, nail polish without a light, which is awesome. So either of those make it last for a week, and if you want, any glitter, there's a bunch of glitter options too. But yeah, that's what I do and it lasts for a week without chipping and I think um, a good tip too is to remember when you're putting on your second coat to cap your nails, meaning go all the way around the edge. I don't know if you can see this very well. Go all the way around the edge on this side. So that way when you're picking at things, which I mean really you should try not to do if you want your nail polish to last longer, but if you're picking at things, then this is usually the first part to go on your nail. And if you capped it, that'll help with that. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Or if you'd like to know what any of these other colors are, let me know too. Thanks for watching and I hope that helped.